so I'm still sick. It feels like it's one o'clock in the morning and I have a lot of things going on in my mind right now. The big one is I'm thinking of moving out of California. I know. It's shocking. I'm thinking like Boston, New York, New Jersey, Rhode Island area. Yeah. Uh, I'm not, I don't know, I have a lot of friends up in our little area. And I think it would be cool to like move somewhere where I had friends already. Because this whole moving around thing at 24, 25, and making new friends, it's not working for me. Especially here in California where everyone's fake. And it's like, you have to know someone famous, or work with someone famous, or be famous to actually have friends. And they're not really your friends, they're fake. Like, I'm all like, oh, California has nothing on me, I'll move there, and like, everyone will love me because I'm not fake to anybody, whether they're famous or not. No, it doesn't happen. It does not happen. Um, the people that I've met, like, Zach and Vanessa and Selena and, um, Miley, I treated them all like normal people, and I think they appreciated it, <laughs> but that's as far as it went. I got the gratitude knowing that they look at me as a normal fan, and not some crazy stalker, but it's, it's hard out here. And it's even harder to get into the industry. Like, I originally came out here for um, acting, and hell to the no. There's way too much rejection, and I'm not at that point yet. I mean, I was in acting for six years, but do people have been going at it, doing it? <laughs> you know what I mean? They've been acting for their life, and they're very serious about it. Me, I just think it's fun and like to do it on like. For an extracurricular or something, or maybe like work in the extra industry or something, but that's not a job you can like make a weekly living on. Something that you can like live off of. So I don't know. I don't know how to people do it. Frankly, I don't. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, I wanted to address the emails that I'm getting from my viewers. I'm getting a lot of emails asking me to talk about Vanessa or the encounters that we've had or the encounters I had with Zach, which is a big no-no. <laughs> um, they're mainly not spoken of again because I like to forget them. They were a time in my life where the so-called friends that I had completely screwed me over. Um, I was a bit of a pushover, so I take responsibility for the fact that I didn't just say no. But in my defense, in every situation, I had nowhere to go, and they were my ride. So, what do you do? You go. In a couple instances with Vanessa, I had control, but she laughed, so I don't care. As much. Like, normally I'd be, like, horrified that she saw me, whatever, but no, she was laughing, so I know that I didn't upset her in any way, and that makes me feel better, but... The reason why I don't want to post any of that is because it needs to be forgotten. Um, the videos are still up on the old account if you want to see them. I'll leave them up for your benefit. The new, um, the new, the new, I don't have any new stories. Um, I, again, I don't have any stories because I'm not following them as much. Not following, that sounds creepy. I'm not... They're not like, they're not like doing promotions or they're not home. Zach's home now, but it's not like I'm gonna go like stalk his house and so I can give you a story. Like, I, one girl emailed me and said um, that Zach. She emailed me last Friday, I think, and she said that Zach was coming home and that I should go by his house and videotape it. I, do I look like the type of person that would sit in a bush and take his picture? No. I do, however, have a story. Of the day that I met the paparazzi. A paparazzi guy. He actually follows Miley. 
um, I'm going to put that video up next because everyone wants a juicy story and this is sort of a juicy story. A day in the life of a paparazzi. <laughs> so I'll post that. I'm hoping that I sound a little less sick, but I'm going to bet no.